And now announcing your starting lineups for the Ryerson Rams. You have number five, Jordan Barich. Number nine, Greg Vuketz. Number 10, Navrit Suhan. Number 11, Xander Kechizinski. Yeah. Number 16, Lee Shen Rabbit. Yeah. And number 18, Aye. Riley Anderson. Yeah. For your Lewis Aye. University Flyers, you have yeah. Marty Epson, Kevin Aye. Colling, Tyler yeah. Mitchum, Ryan Conan, yeah. Dalen Estenis, TJ Aye. Murray, yeah. and Kyle Bouger. Aye. Yeah. All right, let's hear you guys get loud for the players out here. We're going to have some great matches over the course of these four days. We've got some prizes to throw away. If you're ready to go, you want to get to the volleyball. Hello, and welcome to the Can Am Holiday Volleyball Showcase held at the Toronto Pan Am Center. Right now, we're kicking it off with the Ryerson Rams and the, Uni the Lewis University Flyers. This is our opening match. There we get a good shot of head official Andrew Robb for this match. He's kicking off the tournament here. Hopefully he'll be on a few matches. And Ryerson has served for the first set. That's number 16, the setter Rabbit. He's going to kick us off here. We got Lewis starting in rotation two. We'll see how this starts, but should be a good battle to pass and serve here. <laughs> Riley Anderson kicking us off with a block. I think middles are going to be key to start us off here. Obviously, different ball for both teams in the using their league. Obviously, they've never seen each other in conference play this year, so middles are going to be key as we start off. A little bit of out of system here. High ball to Xander Ketrzynski. Trick Sandy with the off speed there. Yep, back to Kunin. So that's going to be the fun matchup if these coaches can keep them lined up. That's number nine, Ryan Kunin with Lewis University. He's going to be matched up with Xander Ketrzynski across the net a lot this match. So. Exciting to see both teams kind of line up their studs to give us a little bit of entertainment early on here. <laughs> Kevin Colling gets the ace here. Hopefully the first of many as Lewis is not afraid to go for it from the baseline here. Really pride themselves on their serve and block defense. Sonny with a nice pass there. Anderson with the middle. Unlucky there for Colling to dig that one out of the net here. Tariq Sonny is going back to serve. Tariq from Scarborough, Ontario, started his uh, post-secondary career at the University of Alberta, now joining Ryerson here. Been a big help to them in the first semester. Yes, and goes for it from the end line. Again, one of many that you can expect over the course of the Can-Am Volleyball Showcase here with from Trik Sani. Fans will remember him from the 2017 U21 national team he was a big part of. <laughs> Ryan Coonan back to serve again. One of the players to watch here for the U Lewis University Flyers. Again, Ryerson trying to establish Anderson early here. Nice shot by Ketrzynski out of system. Obviously, Ryerson, when they get that dig in possession, they're going to go to the outlets. They're going to go to the wings. That's Xander Ketrzynski leading the way for them. Riley Alexander back to serve. Or excuse me, Anderson back to serve for Ryerson. Yeah. 
And your Rob with the eyes on the net, says the setter approach there, so a Ryerson point. That's Anderson back with the float serve. Luquettes with the reception there. Nice, and that's number nine, Greg Luquettes with Ryerson. Uh, you'll recognize him last year. He was actually setting, showing his skill level. He moved to the pin this year. Very established beach player. He's represented New Zealand internationally, so shows that he can set, he can defend, he can play left side, he can do whatever Coach Matt Harris asked him to do. Xander from the end line here. Nice serve, better pass by Lewis here. And there we go, that's number eight, Tyler Mitchum coming out of the middle. Dallin Intense is back to serve for Lewis. So that's Rabbit for Ryerson, really trying to establish the middle here. So Navri with one of his rare airs there on the missed timing. We'll see if they can get that together after a little bit of a holiday break here. Petrzynski coming out of the back row on the C ball there. Earns himself another point. Vuket's coming from the service line. Mitchum already two kills here, showing that big frame. Tyler Mitchum 6'10 from Bolingbrook, Illinois. Illinois area is definitely popping off for boys volleyball right now. Good to see Lewis kind of recruiting their own backyard, getting a stud. Still no answer for Xander Kaczynski. Already his third kill of this set. Coming out of there with the C ball. Perfect timing, good tempo. Read back to serve. <laughs> we got Mitchum going back for Lewis here. We'll see what he tries to do. Tough rotation for Ryerson with their setter and two here. Xander's got to go a long way for the C ball. We'll see if they try to serve Sandy and get him isolated in the front row here. They go into six of the cats. Turn set him on the pipe. <laughs> There's Coonan again. And this is the exciting matchup. One of the players to watch for Lewis as the game progresses here. Great high ball management. That's just a great angle on the high ball. Let's see if Ryerson can solve an answer here. Rabbit back to serve. We got the matchup we want here again as fans. We got Ketrzynski versus Kunin in the front row. Lewis goes to their seat ball. Tense is 6-5 from Wisconsin. Lewis showing that they can move it around to the wings as well. That's setter Kevin calling back to serve. And that's 10 all here in the first set. Both teams really trying to establish their middles when they do get a good pass, but also going for it on their serves. You see a few errors early on. We've got Tariq Sani back. He's already earned an ace. Let's see what he does this time. Coonan back to serve. We'll see if he goes for it. Hey, 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 
crowd trying to get him into it on the spin serve. Gets the setter off the net, bump set. See what the cats can do with it. Nice joust. That's just a great play by Boucher to come in and get that dig and then get out for a left side option. Most people wouldn't think he was an option there, but he squeezed it through. Again, the loose bench giving it to Kuhn and letting him know that he's got the green light to go for it here. Just misses out the sideline trying to target Viquettes there. That's Riley Anderson back to serve. Going for the float serve. You can see Lewis is already cheated up right around the attack line here. They want to take this ball with their hands. Cooney chooses with the forearms. That's just great use by TJ Murray. Not the best set, but does find a way to score. We'll see if Navri can find the answer here. He was a second team OUA All-Star last year. A big piece of this Ryerson Ram team. We'll see if he can get it going in the middle on the other side here. Sandy passing the ball well this game. There's Navri. Nice recycle. And Tyler Mitchum showing that he's taking control of the middle. He's earning points early here for Lewis. Another great player to watch throughout the course of this tournament. TJ Murray, the middle, back to serve. He's going to go with the float. Not the timing we're looking for to connect with uh, Ketrzynski there. Stenis scores from the right side here. Lewis is showing they got depth at every option here. They've extended. We were just at 10-10, and now Lewis has extended that to 15-11 here in the first set. I forgot to mention, Imperial, they can celebrate. They can come out. They went right up to the black Ontario side. <laughs> That's why it must have back. Okay. 18 take off his necklace. And as we come out of this timeout, 15-11 for Lewis, we want to take this time to thank our friends at Ihorn Tax for being a proud supporter of local volleyball and the local volleyball community. Looking quickly at our stats here, thanks to our great team here at Toronto Pan Am. Uh, number eight, Tyler Mitchum leading the way with three kills for Lewis. And Xander Kaczynski matches that on the other side with three himself. See how this match progresses. Obviously, anyone who's watched Ryerson before knows that the team really goes uh, off Xander here. He's the big energy giver. He's the big option. Bouquets unloads on that line shot, but Colin was there. The rarely seen but always crowd-pleasing bump kill. That'll get you going. You can see the bench, and Lewis really loves that. 16-11, and yes, we will take our technical timeout. And this technical timeout is brought to you by First Point Volleyball Foundation, proudly growing boys and men's volleyball wherever they see a need. Once again, thanks to our great stats team giving us the live info. Only one official ace for both sides. We got Colleen earning one for Lewis and Sonny earning one for Ryerson. But you do notice it's not just about aces when these guys are going for it with their serves. They're really just trying to get the setter off the net, try to make it a second tempo set out to the wings and try to establish our block and defense. And you can see that serving are, are getting them off. The middle's kind of been isolated. We saw early on when the pass was good, they were trying to run. Anderson got a few attempts. Obviously, Mitchum has been a threat for Lewis. But when that ball starts going to the wings, it seems like it's going to come down to catch it. It's Guy versus Kuhn in this game.
TJ Perry back to serve. Lewis University 16. Ryerson. TJ Murray still going on a nice little serve run. Sani again passing well. And there you go, that's Xander Kaczynski with another kill. You can see when he's in rhythm, in tempo, very difficult to stop. So once again, Sani passing really well, taking the majority of the court back there. Rabbit finding Kaczynski for the kill. And that's Kaczynski back at the service line. He's going to rip one here. That's number 21, Kyle Boucher. Again, Lewis with a fantastic pass there. Lots of options, running at a tempo here. Really stretching out the block, showing he can go line there. Number nine again, Ryan Coonan for Lewis. A lot of credit goes to Colin here. A lot of setters wouldn't set the pick there when they're that far off the net and kind of shifting towards four, but shows that in rhythm they've got that pipe down pad. Good for Lewis to get a dig and a slowdown on there. Catch Wazinski. That's got to be their plan moving forward. Another great continue here by Lewis. Oh, got to admire Ryan Cooney for going for it there. Bouquet's doing all he can, making great shots there, but just hard to get a clean kill against this Lewis defense. Bouquet's back at the service line. Unlucky. Marty Jepson gets caught there on the hybrid serve from Bouquet. Couldn't decide early enough. Caught a piece there. We'll see what he goes with here. Unlucky, Bouquets couldn't do two in a row there. That's Lewis up 19-14 here, late in the first set. Boucher back to serve here. Tyler Mitchum came to play there, obviously establishing a presence at the net right away. This is something that Lewis likes to pride himself once again. Tough serving, great presence at the net. Good to see Boucher going for it on the spin serve here. There was some talk before the tournament that uh, in the NCAA they use a molten ball, so obviously a little bit more friendly for the spin servers. We, we were debating if we were going to see more float servers this event, but shows that Boucher just goes for it. doesn't matter what the ball is. He's going to go up and hit it as hard as he possibly can every single time. As we come into this timeout, we'd like to remind any viewers looking to continue their volleyball careers after graduation, you can get a top-notch graduate degree in the UK while playing volleyball at Northumbria University. So that's one of our proud partners for this event, something to look into. Get your masters while playing a high level of volleyball over in the UK, what could be better? Boucher back to serve again. Let's see if he goes for it coming out of this timeout or if he's going to take a little bit off it. Unloads again. Gets the setter well in two-thirds deep the court here. See what Sonny can do on this high ball. Great shot by Tariq to work himself out of that situation. Not easy tracking the ball when the setter's literally behind you when he sets it. Finds the seam in that triple block. What a shot by Tariq. We've got Navri Suhan, number 10, back to serve here. And if he's not by now, number eight, Tyler Coonan, is definitely making a pitch to be your favorite player by the end of this game. He's back at the service line. Here in Canada, we don't get a chance to watch Lewis maybe as much as we want to, but he's definitely showing that he's the real deal. Nice serve at Sonny here. Tough timing on the pipe there. You can see Bouquet's kind of did the stutter step there. That's not the rhythm they want to run him on. Mm -hmm. 
Good press. TJ Murray showing he can get hands over right away. Coonan was there right to help out. We got Mitchum again back serving. Nice little scoop on Petrzynski. Let's see. Oh. That's a tough play for Colin to try to win the joust all the way from three out his sideline. Obviously went for it. That's a good press by Anderson to close here. Tough to say if Colin was going for the joust or the recycle or if he was actually trying to wipe out the sideline. Either way, Anderson got the best of him in that battle. Colin answers back right away with the setter dump there. Always a little bit tricky when the pass kind of sprays a little bit towards four and who's responsible for the setter dump there. When everything's in system, obviously the defense can set up, but as the setter moves around a little bit, we got to share and communicate who's responsible for what. Yeah, a little bit of a reach there by Ryan Coonan. Lewis is obviously going to be very aggressive at the net. This is something they pride themselves on, so that's probably a call that Coach Dan Friend's going to be patient with. A bit of a 50-50 ball that Ryan reached on, as you can see. Tariq Sandy back to serve, already earned one ace. Couple misses, see what he does this time. Nice job getting the setter off the net. Ryerson earns a high ball and a dig out of it. Nice, let's see what Rabbit chooses to do. Nice, just lay it up for Kaczynski, great swing. Tough one as Ryerson finally gets a couple slowdowns there, gets called on the net. Good to see a little bit of battle. You can see that both teams really in control with their high ball management, just going for swings. Great job by Lewis to send the triple block there as much as they can. Great reading, especially by Ryan Coonan, who's actually a left side. He got stuck on the right side there and shows that he can play both wings. He's going to go for it from the service line here. Number Riley Anderson back at the service line. See if he can get something going. That's Ryerson down, 18 serving 24 here. Rotation six has been pretty good for Lewis so far. We'll see what Colling does to try to close this one out. You know what, doesn't have to. Ryerson lets him off the hook with a missed serve. That's 25-18 here in the first set. We'll see what both coaching staffs want to adjust here. Obviously the first time playing each other. A lot of information gathering as we go, but not the outcome Ryerson wants with a bunch of missed serves and a couple net calls there. They'll regroup and be ready to go for the second set here. Good look at the Ryerson lineup coming out there. You can see Matt Harris not going to make any changes. He's going to go with his guys right now. Obviously, Rabbit getting an opportunity to, to play a little bit here. Him and Shake have kind of shared some time a little bit in the first semester. We'll see if he takes this opportunity and runs with it. Looking at Lewis, they're going to match. Same lineup here. And that's TJ Burry, middle blocker, back to serve. This is a great call by Coach Dan Friend of Lewis because... Uh, by allowing one of their better servers to go back there, this also gets uh, Tyler Mitchum in the front row, who's really established himself to have a good game. And that's Kyle Boucher showing that he can control the net too. Another overpass kill here. I wonder if Lewis stats this and they, if they give credit to the server at the end of the game, because uh, it's about three or four overpasses they've earned. And obviously the glory goes to the guy controlling the net, but gotta give some assist to the server back there. And there we go, Tariq Sani showing he can hit from the right side pin as well. Rabbit spreading it around a little bit, so we'll see if Sani can get involved, take a little bit of the load off Ketrzynski and just let him do his thing. Because if we can give Ketrzynski some seams or one-on-ones, he's going to destroy here. Sani goes for it, misses the sideline here. Dallin the sense is an outside hitter. Going back to serve here. Bouquets with the rare shank there. Sonny brings it in. Lewis controlling the net again. Ryerson able to battle here. Oh, and we're way out of system here for Lewis. See if we can get a swing out of it. Boucher keeps it alive. Not the prettiest of plays, but you know what? We'll take it. Riley Anderson finding a way. He's matched up with Tyler Mitchum, so that's a great point. Sneaks it through. That's a big hustle play for Ryerson. See if they can build off it here as they're 2-2 here in the second set. 
And that's Anderson back to serve. Nice job. Once again, the serving is what we're going to talk about most of this game here. As Anderson gets the setter way off the net, tries to force that first tempo into the middle, can't connect. Won't go down in an ace in our stats, but just as good as one as Anderson really gets a, a poor pass at a loose there. See if he can do it again. He can't as we answer with a service air here. Kyle Boucher back to serve. Let's see. He kind of set the tone early on in the first set with his spin serve. Let's see if he just keeps going for it. Absolutely. Bouquets with an overpass. And it's almost expected right now with an overpass. The Lewis Middles are going to take care of it. That's Mitchum once again, just absolutely controlling the net. Great patience, great decision making. See if Boucher can set him up for another one here with this max spin serve he keeps going for. Oh, changes it up. He's going to go float serve. Same goal, gets the setter off the net. We're talking triple block here by Lewis. Creative, but it works there by calling as he gets in with the triple. Nice shot. Xander catches that's key with another kill there. Lewis with the odd recycle there. They may have surprised themselves, but uh, Kevin calling keeping it in play for his squad there. Xander back from the service line. Tough one as he just misses the end line there. Lewis takes the lead there with 5 4. Tyler Mitchum back to serve. He's done enough at the net. See if he can help his team out from the end line, too. Nice service. Sandy has a little bit of trouble. Again, setter behind the attack line. Xander finds a way, though. Lewis not afraid to throw up the triple block. It does open up some seams, though, and a lot of court for the back row guys to cover. Xander rips one into the 1 6 seam. Great use for the clean kill there. Craig Bouquets loves a little bit of a hybrid, mostly a float serve. Gets one through. Great scoop by Ryerson, and obviously Xander with the other system. Oh. Lewis Bench, nice little celly there with the block. These guys came to have fun. Good for this uh, crowd here, Toronto Pan Am to see. Wouldn't be surprised if these guys become fan favorites by the end of the tournament. And that's setter Kevin Calling back to serve. See if we can go on a little bit of run here. Lewis really prides themselves in going for the service line and establishing that block. Kevin's going to float serve here. Sandy with a tough one. High ball here. Triple block again from Lewis. Nice block coverage by Xander. And Ryerson answers with their own block. That's Sue Han and, San and Sandy joining up there for the, the close on the block here. Nice press by Tariq. You can see him fully pressing there. Navarit, a big part of this team. We'll see if he can get it going here. Not the best first set for him. Loves that jump float. See what he can do with it here. It's TJ Murray with a bit of a power tip there. Good use on that first tempo, so... He doesn't seem to bother calling when he's off the net a little bit. He's going to try to find a way to establish his middles. As they go up 7-6 here early on in the second set. Moonen with another great serve. Bouquets tries to handle here. Sonny, see what he can do with this high ball. Great choice to go down the line. Sonny earning again, not getting the best set quality, but just making use of it, trying to score against this triple block, showing that he's got a variety of shots and he's going to find a way. Right at the setter, back to serve here. And he earns an overpass and Tariq takes care of it. So Ryerson, nice adjustments in the uh, set break here as they take their lead 8-7, trying to tie this up. Nice in system pass. That's Murray again with another one of his classic middle power tips. Nice recycle. Lewis. 
Pence is greases one there. Nice use off this block. So Ryerson showing that they've they've made some adjustments, but Lewis just outlasts him in that rally. Anderson couldn't press enough. Great shot by the Lewis right side and Tense is there. Buquet's nice and system pass. You know it going to Anderson here in the middle. Unlucky just out the end line. We'll see if uh, Ryerson, either Matt Harris or Nico or any of the other awesome coaches they have over there, they make an adjustment. That's every time Ryerson seems to have a quality pass, they're running their middle. See if they switch that later in the set. Maybe earn the outside some one on ones with Lewis trying to come in on their middles. And it's like he can hear me. Obviously, a great pass opens up a seam. They go to Xander. We'll call it a one-on-one. -on -one. Conan was coming across, excuse me, Mitchell was coming across to try to close. But again, if you give Xander a seam like that, he's going to take care of it. So great job by Ryerson trying to establish their middles. We'll see if they can open up those seams for the outsides because Sandy and Ketrzynski are just waiting to go off here. Sandy might be favoring his shoulder there after that miss serve. We'll see what happens. Obviously a lot of load on him since he was a young guy being a big stud coming through the OVA system and then obviously at Alberta where he started his university career. We'll see if he can stand the load of this tournament. A great serve by Lewis. There's Sonny coming out of the back row. Ooh, Andrew Robb had a better look at that than I did, but I thought he was pretty clean. Nice run by Ryerson to show that they've got some back row options. That's number 14. Intense is going for it again. Buquets, another 50-50 ball, and you know it. Mitchum takes care of it again. Once again, if Tyler Mitchum isn't your favorite player before this game, he might be after, because he is just earning it, controlling the net in every situation. Quick look at the stats. Xander's jumped to seven. Tariq's obviously getting involved. He's at four. Riley Anderson got involved a little bit this set. And on the other side, Lewis Mitchum is just keeps adding to his total. He's at five. Kunin has three. Intensis has two. TJ Murray's chipped in with two. And Boucher has three. So Lewis moving around a little bit. Their middle is obviously controlling the net with their aggressive serving. Ryerson showed that they made some adjustments. They're down 12-9 here. We'll see if they can adjust once more before they get out of hand in this second set. And once again, we'd like to thank our friends at Icorn Tax for being the proud supporters of the local volleyball community as we come out of this timeout. Lewis still serving. Intense is going for a little bit of a run here. See if Ryerson can get out of trouble. They're in a pretty good rotation in rotation six. Obviously, Xander's still an option. They got Vuquets as the left side. And a miss serve. Chance for Ryerson to reload here. Suhan's back up. Good blocking rotation with Vuquets, catching this game, Suhan. See if Anderson can put them in trouble and let this block go to work. Tough one. Misses out the end line. Obviously, Ryerson's got to make some adjustments. I don't think he mind when Ketrzynski and Sani, two guys with the green light, are going for it. But when Anderson's missing on his float serve, that's a, kind of a tough goal. We've got Suhan getting involved in the middle. Mitchum answers it. Sani with a good dig. Kets with the high ball management. Nice shot. Suhan with the nice soft block. Kets with the tip. Nice pickup. <laughs> And you know it, Tyler Mitchell. That's a tough shot to tool the block all the way outside to five here. Shows that he can really get up and hammer it. Now Boucher has earned from a couple spin serves. He went with a float serve last time. Oh, he's going to spin this time. Tough air from him. So that's 11 serving 14. Ryerson trying to get back in it here. Xander's been known to go on a few runs here. We'll see what he can do with his spin serve here. Great job earning an overpass. Great decision by Navri to kind of recycle there. They run him on the back quick. And that's Ryan Coonan showing that he 
is the big stud for Lewis. That's going to be a tough matchup if uh, Rabbit and Kuna are going to stay matched up across the net. As you can see, Kuna just going to abuse that block. Now Reed's going to try to help out the best he can, but in the first set, Ryerson had him matched up with Xander. We'll see if that switch stays the same going into the third set. Another overpass, and we take care of it. Ryan Kunin, as good as advertises, as Lewis' team takes control going into the tech, 16-11. And this technical timeout is brought to you by First Point Volleyball Foundation, proudly growing boys and men's volleyball wherever they see a need. Now, as we look through uh, a Can-Am format, obviously the, the schedule's a little bit tricky. As Ryerson started in the fall, they've already played a semester of their league. Lewis is gearing up. They got their first league game next week, so they're technically in preseason, so just a little bit different context. As Ryerson's kind of been in a battle, they had their holiday break, and they're getting back into it where you can show that Lewis is definitely in preseason mode. They are fired up. They came out of the gates ready to go. Not trying to make an excuse for Ryerson, but just maybe a little bit of energy, a little bit more fight by Lewis as they're kind of excited to battle and go for it where Ryerson's coming back off a holiday break. So we'll see as the match progresses if they can snap out of it. But right now, the, the service line has been the story with Lewis and just their middles, especially Tyler Mitchum, just going for it, rushing these overpasses. If Ryerson can sort out the, what they're going to do on some of these tough spin serves from Lewis, they got a shot. But if not, I think Mitchum and Murray are just going to keep feasting on these middle overpasses as Mitchum is back on the service line. He's already earned six kills. The Cat's having trouble once again with that float serve. See if he can manage this high ball. And he redeems himself. Maybe not the best pass, but finds a way to get through that triple block of Lewis. He's going to go back to the service line here. No, Ryerson no. down 12 16. Ryerson did a nice job getting a scoop there, but had to give a free ball. Doing it again, crushing down the line. Nico or Will Otten, the assistants of Ryerson are going to have to let Harris know that this matchup is not going to work as we go late in the game as Kuhn is just feasting on that matchup against Rabbit, the Ryerson setter. And Kevin calling the setter for Lewis back on the service line. He's having a game so far, finding a way to get involved in every phase of the game. Sani, tough pass. Bouquet's going to take it. Sani again managing those high balls really well, gets continued, takes their setter out, makes them go to system, but Lewis answers. And Tensis finds a way to score. So Sani makes the great shot, uh, taking out calling and making Lewis go out of system, but that's number four, Jepson, dishing right now as Lewis isn't afraid to get up and down and transition and really ride the pins. There's a little bit better quality pass by Sonny and they run that break. Great kill. He's going to be key for Ryerson as they kind of get back on the swing after the holiday break. Last year he was a second team OUA All-Star, expecting big things as they try to take their conference in U Sports. Alex King enters the game for Riley Anderson. See if we can change up the middle blocking assignments here for Ryerson. Now reads back to serve. Kuna with a nice pass. Maybe not the tempo when Tensis was expecting, but he found a way to score there. Yeah, he's letting Kevin know. Not the best set, but appreciates it nonetheless. Finds a way to score. Ryan Kuna going for it. The bench loves to get involved when he serves. Obviously a cannon back there. See if he can earn one. Chooses to go off speed. Buquets handles it. Sani with a nice continue. Xander takes out the setter, but again, Lewis showing they can play in transition. Jefferson chooses to go with Kunin in the pipe there. What a play by Lewis showing that they don't need to ride the wings. They can go pipe in transition too. Great awareness by Ryerson to try to take out the setter in the back row, but Jepson showing that he can dish just as well. Going with the float serve this time. And he earns the tape tickler ace. 
And the bench loves that one. I don't know what that was, but very nice job. Lewis takes the lead 21-13 here. Gonna go on a bit of a run. We'll see what he chooses to do this time. He's gonna go back to the spinner. A little assist from the tape there. Xander on the sea ball. And he sneaks it through. I think Boucher would like to have that one back again. Not quite sure where that went, but Xander showing that he can get involved even on the out of system plays. And drive it back to serve. Nice job getting Lewis out of system here. Sandy again trying to manage a tough set. Finds a way. Nice shot by Tariq. Tariq showing he can battle. Maybe not getting the best in-system options right now, but when they go to him out of system, he's finding a way. Tough one by Rabbit. Substitution. 15 outs. We got Kirshner coming in to serve for Lewis. He's going to go for a spin here. Again, Tariq kind of has to double clutch there because that's not the tempo he's expecting. Finds a use here. Tariq being highly efficient even though he's not getting the best quality sets right now. And that's Tariq's sixth of the game already. See if he can get it going from the end line, not having the best day so far. There it is, unloads on one. Lewis is out of system right away here. Earns a free ball for Ryerson. Xander lets him know. Huge point by Xander there. Tariq really set the table there with a tough serve. See if he can earn one more. That's a big time angle from Xander Ketchinski. What a shot. Another good serve by Tariq. Gets the setter off the net. They go to the pipe option of Kunin. Kets tries a tough angle from off the net. Unsuccessful as Lewis goes up 23-17. Another sub by Lewis here. Number 13, Ryan Van Lu is going to come in and serve. Goes with the float. Doesn't make your coach look the best when the serving sub comes in and misses. And Intense is going to check back in. So Ryerson's got a good blocking line up here with Bouquets, Ketchersinski, and Suhan against a front row setter with Lewis. See if uh, we can earn one. We cannot. Alex King is a tough go. A little bit of a missed opportunity with Ryerson there as Lewis goes up 24-18. Boucher's back there. For my own benefit, I hope he just absolutely destroys one right now. He's been spin serving all match. He's going to go for it. There it is. Sandy handles it, though. Bouquet's in system. What a shot by him. So you can see when Ryerson controls the ball, Rabbit can dish. And when they're in system, they're really tough to beat. It's when they get out of system that Rabbit's had a couple mis miscues trying to locate the sets here. Ryerson's ball control is really going to have to step up if they try to get back into this match. They're down 19-24 with Xander back at the service line. And that will end it in the second set here. That's 25-19 for Lewis. I mean, miss serves aren't always a problem if you're going for it, but... Ryerson may have to figure out a green light system that you're patient when guys like Xander and Tariq are missing because they can actually earn for you. It's guys like Anderson and Rabbit when they miss it. It hurts a little bit more. We'll see if Ryerson can make those adjustments. And just a reminder for any viewers looking to continue their volleyball careers after graduation, get a top-notch graduate degree in the UK while playing volleyball at Northumbria University. Ryerson 
and they are going to stay with Alex King in the middle. He's in for Anderson. He's going to start this third set. Everything else is the same. And we'll get a look at Lewis as they come out of the huddle here. And it looks like they're going to start with the original lineup. They did try to make a few serving subs late in the second set there, but they're going to start with this. And Ryerson has made one small adjustment. They've rotated, so now we got Ketrzynski starting at six. He's going to be opposite of Kunin, so that'll be an exciting matchup the rest of this match. Duche unloads here to start off. Lewis up one nothing. Tense is back to serve. See if we can get it going right from the start here. Lewis has had a great serving game. Earning a lot of overpasses, getting the setter out of system pretty often here with Ryerson. And that's Barrick with a decent pass. They go to Ketrzynski early. Boucher with the continue. See if he can take care of the high ball. Barrick with the high ball to Sani. Let's see. No, didn't catch a piece there. That's Ryerson's point. Tense has tried to tool the block there. Didn't get enough of it or any of it, I should say, as Ryerson earns the point. It's 1-1. One, one. Suhan's back to serve. Touche with the decent pass. Battles on the miscue there. Sani again with the out position. And I think he's hit every shot there is at least once this match as he finds a way to battle once again using the block, not the power tip there. Pass by Kunin. Mitchum with the go there. Nice cover by the setter. See if Navri can set here. That's Sandy again dealing with some out assist and stuff. And he finds a way again. Kevin calling down a press there. That's twice Therese got him in the early part of this third set. Navri showing he can set as well. See if he can keep going on a run. And Kevin Colling trying to get involved there on the setter dump. Gets called on the net. Nice run by Ryerson as they extend their lead to 4-1. Maverick getting the result we want on our float serve here. Just enough pace. Oh, and he misses out the back. I was just about to say just enough pace to get the setter off the net a little bit. Limit the hitting options, but goes for too much. Two serving four. Lewis goes back. Boucher going with the spin serve. He's shown he's got a couple in his bag of tricks. Takes a little bit off of the catch and pass. And Rabbit mishandles there. Tough goal. As you can see, great camera work there as the Lewis men are really controlling the net. Nice serve by Boucher. He's going to earn it again. Once again, it doesn't matter what ball we're using. Kyle Boucher is going to go for it. What a spin serve. We're putting a lot of force behind that ball. And that's a missed serve, but as we've already talked about, Kind of have patience for a miss serve like that with a guy who's going to go back and try to earn you every single time. It's the guys who don't really earn that miss that kind of really start to bury your team. Rabbit goes back. Nice float serve at the front or left side here. And Mitchum staying involved here. What a run by Colling here. Just tease it up. Xander coming over trying to help. Couldn't get there in time. Mitchum's now back to serve. Nice pass by Barrett. 
And Lewis call on that, but if they weren't, that's another kill for Tariq Sani. Finally running him a little bit in system shows that he's still got those off-speed shots to get the job done. He's back at the service line. Great pickup by the Lewis Libero. And they find their way out of trouble here. Jepson did all he could just to get that ball off the ground. Colleen lays it up for Kuhn and he hits quite the angle in an out of system set here. Kevin Colleen, the setter, back to serve. He's going to go with the float. Trake mishandles a little bit, see if Xander can bring it back. That's a free ball for Lewis, see what they can do in system here. Points, Ryerson, shots out of bounds, just wide. Just ride wide, excuse me, by Kunin. Rare miss Number by him, he's been having a game. Would have expected a little bit more in system, but you know when you get the volume he does, you're okay with a little bit of airs. Alex King back to serve here. Tough miss, he hasn't been able to hit one from the end line here. We'll see once he gets into the game if he can battle a little bit more. Seven, seven, seven. That's number nine, Ryan Coonan back to serve. The bench loves getting involved when he goes back to serve. See if he can entertain them. And that's another miss by Lewis as Ryerson takes the lead, eight, seven. Ryerson. Xander Ketchinski back to serve. As I mentioned earlier on, Matt Harris found the matchup where he's gonna have Xander matched up against Ryan the rest of this set. See if that slows down this loose offense. And Xander earns one from the end line as he gets steps in there. See if Xander can earn another one, get it going for Ryerson as they lead 9 7 here in the third set. And just a bit outside as Xander misses one here. Lewis down 8-9, and that's TJ Murray, the middle back, which means Tyler Mitchell's back in the front row, see if he can continue to control the net here for Lewis. Sandy with the great pass for Ryerson. Navry getting it down through the middle, another net violation by Lewis. So Lewis was having success with their serve and block complementing each other early on in the match. Now you can see he's getting a little bit greedy, couple net calls early on in this third set. Greg Bouquet's back to serve for Ryerson. Great dig by Ketrzynski to save that blue shake tip. And Tariq again finding a way here with those out of system sets. Making use of not the best quality coming his way. He's having a game. It's 11 8 for Ryerson here in the third set. Nice serve by Bouquets to take out Kunin. Nice shot by Boucher as he earns another kill. Tense as the right side goes back to serve for Lewis. They are down 9-11 here in the third set. Barrick does a nice job with that one. Points, Lewis. Just a little bit of a missed timing with Tariq there. Not the tempo he was expecting. Had to use his left there. Couldn't keep it in bounds. Lewis looks to tie here as they're down 10-11 here in the third set. Tensa just keeps it in there. Ryerson with the recycle. Oh, Rabbit trying to get involved here in the third set. Tariq, nice use off the block. Good recycle by Lewis. Jepson with the save for Lewis as we start a little bit of a rally here. This is our longest one of the match so far. Nice slow down on Xander. Boucher goes for one off the net. And he finds the corner. Nice battle by Lewis as they tie it at 11 all. By far the longest rally we've seen. Good recycles by both teams. 
nice angle by Boucher as he's way off the net to find that corner. Tense is back to serve. He's putting together a little bit of a run here for Lewis. And that's a missed serve as Ryerson takes the lead 12 11. Alex King is back into the game as Navri goes back to serve. We'll see if Alex can get it going. Hasn't had the best luck since being subbed in in the second set. Nice job by Navri to get a free ball for his squad. And there's Alex King trying to get involved. Unlucky with the hitting air there. Shows the Rabbit's got a lot of trust in him trying to go to him early here. Kyle Boucher back at the service line. He's shown he can float, but he's been on majority spin and he's been absolutely going for it. Hopefully he keeps that up the rest of the set. And he will. Because there's all he can to handle that one as we get an overpass. Great job by Tariq to recycle that. And Mitchum getting involved again, so he may not have earned it on the overpass, but he got it on the free ball afterwards as Lewis takes their lead here, 13-12. Jepson with the dig on Sani there. Boucher coming out of the back. Good choice to just hit to continue. Bouquet's answers with the pipe. Let's see if Bear can give it to Sani here and take a two. Doesn't quite get there. They have to give a free ball. And you know it, Tyler Mitchum out of the middle. Super high efficiency. Doing all he can on these overpasses, and when they're in system, they're going to go to him. As Lewis takes the lead, 14-12 here, we'd like to thank our friends at Icorn Tax for being proud supporters of the local volleyball community. Ryerson's been battling the whole way through this third set. They find themselves down 14-12. They can get out of this rotation. They might be in business, but Boucher's been going for it all game. He's been going on runs. Ryerson needs to get the ball back here. Kets, nice battle off that spin serve. Xander, what an angle. Great shot by Xander. And now Ryerson's in business as Xander comes to the front row. Rabbit's going to serve here. Good rotation with Ryerson. Now they got Sani, Ketrazinski, and King in the front row. Hopefully Rabbit can put them in a little trouble, let the block go to work. Boucher out of the back row. Tags the end line there. Lewis takes their lead, 15-13 here. And Mitchum back to serve for Lewis. Gonna go for the float, see who he targets here. Luquette's with a nice pass, Sani on the right side. Boucher with the dig. See if Kunin can negotiate this high ball here. Nice job hitting to continue. Barrick has a little bit of trouble with that one. Mission with the free ball pass. Nice dig by Luquette's in the back row. Ooh, unlucky, a little bit of a disconnect as Kunin had to come in to cover that free ball. Couldn't get back out of the stick, and that's where Kevin Pauling wanted to run him. So, unlucky play by Lewis. Tariq's been known to earn from the end line. Let's see what he can do on this attempt. And there it is. Off speed service ace as he gets Boucher into the area three there. What a serve by Tariq. And that ties us up at 15.
Just misses that one, sails out. And that takes us into the technical timeout. This technical timeout is brought to you by First Point Volleyball Foundation. Proudly growing boys and men's volleyball wherever they see a need. Lewis comes out of this timeout. They lead 16-15. They're trying to close the door here and take it three straight. Ryerson trying to extend their life here. Tough coming off the holiday break, as we talked about with Ryerson, but that's no excuse as Lewis traveled here from the Illinois area, making the big trip. You can tell they were excited and ready to go right from the start. Quick rotation check. Where are we? Lewis finds out. Number six, Kevin calling the setter. is going to go back and serve here. Yep, yeah, just confirming with the scores table, we got the right server. A little confusing coming out of the tech. Catch with the pass, Xander. Ooh, sharp angle, did he get enough? Oh, and Andrew Rob says we got a touch. Ryerson ties it up at 16, Alex King going for it. Good blocking lineup with Buquets. Navri and Xander at the front row. See if we can put Lewis into trouble here. Another tough one by Alex King. He's going to keep going for it, but hasn't had much luck from the service line yet. And the bench squad from Lewis loves when Ryan Coonan goes back. See if he can fire him up here. He's going for the spin serve on this one. Sandy with a great pass. Running that right there. Did he find it? No. Misses out the side. And Lewis takes an 18-16 lead here. And Coach Matt Harris, he's going to take a timeout here. He doesn't want to extend it any further. That's a great pass by Ryerson. Couldn't find a way. Tune into our Instagram and YouTube channels at the end of the night to catch the GNAC plays of the day. Make the best plays both on and excuse me on the court and with your homes. Don't forget to stick around for the plays in the back after the game. I will show you some little more stuff. Hell man. Do you want to play? Ryan Coonan going back. And there's the bench. You can hear them a little bit in the background. They like to get fired up when he's back there. Nice pass by Buquets. And they go right back to him, and he could not find the corner. Lewis extends to 19-16. Another service run by Lewis as they love going for it from the end line. They like to let their block go to work. Forcing these Ryerson hitters to make a few airs here as we go down the stretch in the third set. Great serve. Tariq does all he can to battle that one. Xander has to roll shot. Jepson runs the middle. Rarely seen by the libero, showing how great of these guys like to be. Couldn't connect with Murray there. It's just fun that we're even trying this stuff. Great run. Easy for me to say here. I'm not sure if head coach Dan Friend really liked that decision as that lowers the lead to 17-19. Xander back on the service line. Service in the net point. Lewis. 
We have a suspect who's in. Number 11 in. Jacob Kirschner. Number 15, TJ and that's Jacob Kirshner. We saw him a little bit in the second set. He came in to hit a spin serve. He's going to do the same thing. He tries to extend Lewis's 20 to 17 lead here in the third set. Net violation by Lewis, but the Gets did find the seat there. That was coming back to Ryerson either way here. 18-20. Kets has been hitting an aggressive jump float the whole match. See what he can do here. He's got to find a way to lower this lead as they're down 18-20. Coonan with the nice reception. And that's Mitchell. Holy. Mitchum has been unbelievably efficient coming out of the middle. That's his 10th kill of the match. What an angle by the big man. Not much he can do on that if you're a Ryerson defender. And that's Ryan Van Loo making his second appearance in the match. He came in to serve in the second set. We'll see what he wants to do from the end line. Didn't have much luck in the second set. Gets the setter off the net. Xander with the sea ball. Somehow stays alive. Great block coverage by Ryerson. As they get a recycle. Van Loo's going to set. Boucher, nice job with the tip there. That's got to make Coach a little bit happier when Van Loo came in. Doesn't look good when the serving sub misses the serve. This time, puts them in trouble, gets the assist. Ryan Van Loo back to serve again. Nice pass by Tree. Nice job by Navri, finally getting involved in the match here. As mentioned, he's been a big part of this team. That's only his third kill of the matchup. He's going to go back to the service line and see if he can cut his nuts a little bit more. As Ryerson's down 19-22. Kuna with the nice pass. Ooh, Boucher unloads on that one. Snuck it through somehow. I think Treek thought he got him, but he snuck it through. Boucher's back on the service line. 23-19. Wouldn't be surprised if Boucher tries to just close out the game on his own and just rip two serves here. Not going to happen as he misses one here. Ryerson's down 20-23. This is the rotation Ryerson wants. Rabbit's back to serve. That means Xander's back up front. He's with Tariq. And Alex King. And we got a lift call from Andrew Robb as we close it down. 21-23. Lewis is going to let Van Lue guide the ship here as he's in for Kerning. Excuse me for calling. He's going to set here. Rarely seen dig on Mitchum. They're going to go right back to him again. That's two that Ryerson got him. Tariq Sani with a huge kill for Ryerson. That closes the gap at 22 23. That's got to be a big emotional lift for Ryan because that is one of the first, if not only times they've stopped Mitchum in the middle and they got him twice in that rally. Once again, Ryerson's got the matchup they want. They got Rabbit back there serving. That leaves Sandy, Ketrzynski, and King at the front. Good blocking lineup for them. It also gives them Barrick uh, Bouquet's in the back row digging. This is probably by far their, their best matchup against this Lewis offense. Lewis choosing to go with Van Lu over Colling with the setting choice. See if he can close it out. They've still got Mitchum in the front row. And Kunin tries to sneak one through. They recycled. Ooh. Even four there. I think uh, Tariq would have done more with it if he didn't think it was. Nice battle as the play continues. Kunin tries to use the block, and he gets just enough here to find the ground. And Ryan Kunin adds to his stats. That's his ninth Time kill of the match. And wouldn't you know it, your new favorite player, Tyler Mitchum, back at the service line. See if he can close it out for Lewis here. 
Once again, Ryerson's in a pretty favorable lineup if they can get a good pass. He cuts battles a little bit off the nets. See if Tariq can use that out of system. And of course, starting to wonder if out of system is in system for Tariq because he just finds a way to battle with that set off the net again. He's going to go from the end line here. They're down 23 24. Once again, just going high off hands. Tariq's shown he's got every shot. Jepson handles that pass. And Ryan Coonan, as good as advertised, he closes this one out as Lewis takes it 